Testing, testing, one, two, three. The date is December 1st, 2012. It's the first day of my internship here at the hospital. My parents were a little worried, as you can imagine. Interning at a creepy hospital for medical experience isn't exactly the ideal dream they envision for their teenage daughter. Regardless, I'm glad they trust me. There's a new patient around my age named Lana, who just arrived a few weeks ago. Oh, and the date is January 18th, 2013. I feel drawn to her for some reason. I probably just pity her. After all, that could be me in her shoes. She was recently locked up in a room for lashing out. I snuck her some cookies from the vending machine. I know it was against the rules, but I couldn't help it. I believe she deserves kindness. Future official nurse to be, Julie here. The date is March 22nd, 2013. It's finally spring. It's so beautiful in the staff courtyard. I wish I could take Lana outside of the hospital to see all the newly grown flowers. I picked some fresh anemones for her room today. She didn't know it was me who placed them there. <laughs> if she can't experience it herself, then I'll bring spring to her. <laughs> down with a fever. I don't feel so good these days. <coughs> the date is, um, what was the date again? Oh, uh, right, it's, um, May 12th, I think. I'm not sure if I only have a fever at this point. My mind feels hazy some days, and I'm starting to hallucinate that someone's watching me while I sleep. I'm scared to tell the senior nurses. I don't want them to think I'm crazy. I would tell Lana, but she's finally starting to get better, and I don't want to jeopardize her progress. Besides, she spends the majority of her time obsessively reading those stupid mythology books now. It's winter again. I've been interning here for a little over a year now. I'll be graduating high school in a few months, and soon I'll get out of this place and start nursing school. Lana told me I should quit. She must be jealous of me. I don't believe her when she says she cares about me. I feel so conflicted nowadays. I'm always angry. I look and smell different. I don't know what's happening to me. But I'm scared. <sighs> he revealed himself to me today. He said that he's going to make me suffer. And then it's all Lana's fault. It's... It's not my fault for loving her. Lana was right this entire time. She was never crazy. But she's gone now. She's free. If me turning into a monster will satisfy him and protect her, then so be it. I'm sorry, Lana. I promised I'd come visit you after you got out. He said if I give in to it, he'll leave you alone. I have to protect you, Lana. And I hope that one day you'll forgive me.